More than 350,000 people in the UK are living with aphasia, a disorder of language and communication. Aphasia is caused by damage to the brain. Everyone with aphasia is different. The type of aphasia you have will depend to some extent on what parts of the brain have been damaged. There are different ways to categorise aphasia, but not everyone will fit neatly into these groups, and as communication recovers, symptoms may change. Some different types include Wernicke's aphasia, Broca's aphasia, anomic aphasia, and global aphasia. Wernicke's aphasia is a type of fluent aphasia. It happens when there is damage to parts of the brain that are important for processing the meaning of language. People with this type of aphasia will speak in long, complete, well-connected sentences with a normal rate, rhythm and grammar, but what they are saying may have no meaning or not make sense. They also won't be able to process or recognise the errors that they're making. Broca's aphasia is a type of non-fluent aphasia. It's caused by damage to the frontal lobe of the brain. People with Broca's aphasia can understand speech and know what they want to say, yet they can find it very difficult to find the right words. They will often use single words or short sentences that take a lot of effort. They may miss out some words or use sounds that are not clear. People with Broca's aphasia are usually aware of their difficulties and get frustrated when they're trying to talk. People with anomic aphasia have difficulties with word finding or naming things. They may have fluent speech but have trouble retrieving certain words, especially nouns and verbs. They might use vague words like thing instead of the correct word or try and describe an item instead of naming it. This can apply to writing as well as speech. Global aphasia is often related to multiple areas of damage to the language processing parts of the brain. People with global aphasia have severe language problems. They may not be able to speak, understand, read or write at all. Some people with global aphasia may be able to use some sounds and simple words to express themselves. They may be able to understand more than they say, although this varies. Some people with the condition learn to understand and communicate through gestures, facial expressions and body language.